What is up everyone? Today is Sunday, September 15th, 2024. And today I have a very fun throwback video. So in front of me are 10 sealed packs of the 2010 Panini Adrenaline XL World Cup trading card game. And this was actually the set that got me into collecting uh, sports cards. So up until about 11 years ago, or over 11 years ago now, a couple of years after this came out, uh, I was still only collecting Pokemon cards. And the Adrenaline XL series, the game series, uh, which also had an online game for the Champions League versions. Uh, those caught my attention, and from then on, I was hooked onto soccer cards. So it started with this and Match Attacks, and then I got into Retail, and then eventually Hobby. So uh, the Match Attacks, or Adrenaline XL, is a playing card game. Uh, this is basically like a kid's game, um, but there are some really cool designs. So you have a total of 350 cards in the set, so a very big set. Uh, you also have 250 base cards, and then 100 shiny cards. So there are star players, uh, one in four packs, 25 gold stoppers, also one in four packs, fan favorites, one in eight packs, and the champions, one in 24 packs. So if we can hit a champion, that'd be really cool. Um, back in the day, I've only opened like maybe a dozen packs of this stuff. So I never hit a fan's favorite or a uh, champion card. But today we have 10 packs and hopefully we can hit it. So there are five total artworks, which I got uh, at least one of each. So we have the Xavi artwork and then we have the Cannavaro one the uh, Messi, the Drogba, and last but not least, the Kaká as the uh, main stars there. So 10 packs, hopefully we can hit a champion. And uh, as a kid, this would have been my dream to open 10 packs consecutively. Um, but, you know, I didn't get to open that much back in the day, but here we are. So let's see what we can get. Uh, this is such a cool throwback. I really miss um, the thrill of opening these uh, playing card packs. So it's very nice. So here's the design, Solomon Kalu, Mike Khan, Diego Benalio, Eduardo of Portugal, Nemad Milias, and we have a Milos Krasic star player of Serbia. Gorgeous looking shiny cards. So actually, let me sleep all of them up. So you have a defense rating, an attack rating, and then I think the middle is like an overall rating. And then also, if it comes down to penalty shootout, each player has a designated shot spot, which will go up against the goalkeeper, which is pretty cool. So sometimes you score, sometimes you miss. And I'm like, usually the defenders will have a pretty poor uh, penalty placement. So just something cool there about this game. Lucas Podolski, Theo Walcott, England superstar. So I think England was the only unlicensed team in the set, I want to say. Uh, which continued on to 2014 Prism, also having unlicensed England players. Landon Donovan, and we have a star player of Dennis Romandal of the uh, Danish national team. Very cool there. Again, all of these are very much throwback names. So two packs, two star players. Let's see what we can get in this next pack. We got Jermaine Defoe, Yaya Torre, Fabio Cannavaro, there we go. Uh, Otto, and then Steven Pinar, and Deco. So that was a all base pack there. Ooh, look what we got here. Star player of Sully Montari, who scored the absolute banger against Uruguay in the uh, 45th plus one, I think, uh, in the quarterfinal. Gorgeous looking card there for Ghana. And then base, we got Murtisacker, Makun, Nagamoto, Huntelar, and Howard. So three star players, again, gorgeous looking cards. And then they also have the team colors in the background. So Ghana has red, yellow, and green. Ooh, look what we got here. We got a Shinsuke Nakamura champion. This is my first ever champion card from this set. And that is for Japan. Very, very cool looking card. So you got extra foil in the background there. And then Robert Vitek in the very back for Slovakia. Wow, champion card, looking very good. You got extra gold foil, again, lined along the stats and the uh, champion designation. All right, next pack, we got a star player of Nicholas Anelka, 91 overall. Very nice for France, fortunately, who did not make it out of the group stage, uh, as did Italy to fail to qualify. So I'm guessing if the uh, last card is not backwards, it's going to be a base pack. Sumao, what a player he was. 
All right, three packs to go. Ooh, fans' favorite. We got Diego Lugano. This is a beautiful-looking card. Um, 2010, by the way, was when I first supported Uruguay. Uh, I picked them during the World Cup before they made it to the semifinals, and I stuck with them. And ever since then, I've been a huge Uruguay fan. And Diego Lugano was the captain, so there we go. Fans' favorite, Diego Lugano. 90-rated, gorgeous-looking card. And then we have Jensen, Robert, uh, Gilberto Silva, Riveros, Xabi Alonso, and Moon. So that's a gorgeous looking card with the Uruguay blue in the background. All right, we got two packs to go. Let's see what we can get here. Ooh, our first goal stopper, Julio Cesar. Gorgeous looking card with the Brazil colors in the back. And then Upson, Kier, Cargunas, De Silva, and Luis Suarez, who uh, a couple weeks ago played his final game for the Uruguay national team. And the last pack is going to have Xavi. Cambiasso, Bernetta, uh, Matheson, Handanovic, and Ivanovic. There we go. So, 10 packs of 2010 Panini Adrenaline XL World Cup South Africa. Get a nice stack of base playing cards. And as for the shinies, one goal stopper, Julio Cesar, Brazil, one fan's favorite, Diego Lugano of Uruguay, one champion, one in 24 packs, so we beat the odds there, Shinsuke Nakamura, and then Montari, Romandal, and Krasic and Anelka were the four star players. So that is it for this quick opening. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if any of you guys opened this back in the day, hope that it was a nice throwback memory. So I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.